Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with My Destiny, which is a new game. It's on Steam and uh, and we're going to play it. We've got a little sad polar bear here. Um, we've been playing a few sad polar bear games recently with the um, with the Arcticopia and I guess this one. So that's a few, I mean two. Um, but we're going to play. Hold up. Right, so we'll go new game. Time to polar bear our way through some piano riffs, I guess. Um, cool. Oh, okay. He's moving. Got this sort of mournful little guitar riff here going. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. Hopefully we didn't miss too much there. I think it was just more guitar. Rawr! He fell off! Into the water! Oh no! And now he's sailing away on an ice floe. He's on an adventure. That's cool. All right. So. Oh, F. What is. What does F mean? Oops. Uh, okay, so did we die or what, what happened there? Um, I mean, all, okay. Right. So that didn't work. I guess we go back to the main menu. Uh, new game. I mean, is there? Hopefully, there's a way to skip the skip the the cutscene. I'm really, really hoping there is. There's not. Okay. Well, I'll fast forward. I guess we're not off to a good start. I'll just say that. So we're back. We've got a RAR. All right. So now we're going to try this again. We're going to try not to fall off. There we go. Right. So I did fall off and... Yeah. This is, uh, this is not very much fun, guys. I'm not having a good time. This is, this is all very bad. Right now, this is just, this is quite, quite depressing. Um, I mean, I do want to play the game. I wanted to figure out what's going on with the game, but it just doesn't work. You know, like I miss one jump and then the game breaks and I have to exit back out to the menu menu. So what I am going to do is I'm going to try one more time. I will, I will, I will try one more time to get through it. Um, but, uh, while we're fast forwarding, I'll put some free stock footage images of, or some video of some polar bears actually on some ice so that you guys can have something new to look at. So that's what you're hopefully looking at now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, I made it. Hooray. Um, that is terrible. The controls are terrible because when you press, when you try and turn around or whatever, he doesn't turn around. He sort of, he, he has to run in a huge wide circle to be able to turn around. It's really stupid. Um, yeah, it's a shame because I'm already really frustrated with this game and I mean, it looks pretty, it, it's like, like that's quite pretty, um, but I'm already pretty annoyed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really that interested in the game anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, I had to restart the game like five times in order to get past the I guess tutorial because for some reason it just crashes and you, you get stuck there and you can't do anything, so. The game's really undercut itself with its tone. You know, it's trying to tell me a sad story about a polar bear and a really beautiful ice fortress or whatever, but I'm like sitting here going like, I'm just frustrated and annoyed. I can't even take in the splendor that is all this beautiful stuff happening. Um, because I honestly just do not care. So this is what happens when you press, if you press, like, the, this is the fastest that you can turn. Alright. So can we interact with this? We can. Right. So I don't know, I don't know what that... Okay. So that's how we... That's how we get over that gap, I guess. Right. Okay. Sure. Sure thing, team. I mean, the game is going out of its way to, like, look really pretty, but... Like I said, I'm already... I'm already disinclined to, uh, be nice to it. Extremely disinclined to be nice to it. Um, otherwise I'd be, you know... If I'd just been able to start doing this and the puzzle solving started and stuff, then I would have been like, oh man, this game looks cool, it sounds cool, and all that kind of stuff. I'd have a lot of nice things, a lot of positive things to say about this, but as it is, I just don't. So these guys are hunting the polar bear, I guess. They're like, oh man, we saw this baby polar bear in there, and so we're going to kill the crap out of it. Yeah. Right. And I guess we're now outside. Sure. I mean, in a game that's definitely in the snow, I feel like there could be more done to, like, make the foot footprints make sense, but... Um... Well, there's, like, a red glow over there. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but we're going over this way instead, I guess. We're going to follow the nature spirit. What's up, my man? All right, what's this? Okay. So one thing that I'm not super enjoying... Is the pace, I guess? The pace of the game feels just really, really slow. And there's no way to uh, speed up the bear. He just, he has the one, he has the one speed that he goes. Right. And like I said, I'm um, turning, yeah, trying to turn, including uh, parkour when you can't turn in place is, uh, is very dumb. So if I want to turn around, here's, yeah, you can't, you can't turn in place. You have to turn a huge circle. So, oh my God. Oh my God. The controls are just incredibly frustrating. Have I managed to get, get myself stuck again? Oh my God. Okay. So the game's like, collect these, but. There's no reason to do that. I don't I don't know. Let's just run let's just run over here. I know there was something on top of that building or on top of that cliff that I was supposed to be grabbing. It's one of these thingies. 
I like the music. I like the cool sort of classical piano and stuff. That's nice. But, um... You know, and they've... They've done an okay job with some of this stuff. I just... I mean, what is this? What is this stuff? This water... I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Right. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. I mean, it's just, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> it's, someone's put a lot of work into this and it's very pretty, but it hasn't been play tested um, because if it had, people would have definitely pointed out these issues <laughs> it's like the the respawn point is a hundred percent not working properly um the controls for the bear are just awful uh you know like if you're trying to make us platform to get uh you know objectives the actual controls are terrible because the bear takes like a really wide turn to do anything so if you're on a small platform and you're not facing the exact right way when you're trying to like turn so that you are facing the right way the bear runs and so then you fall off the platform it's just really 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 badly designed um let's go look at the description because uh this is funny and i go oh i can see the deer over there that's good um the, it's hilarious that he's just falling through the air he looks very excited to be doing that um but i think i think we're pretty much done I think this this might be my um, I'll try and I'll try and grab a good screeny of it. Um, yeah, let's go look at the description. All right, my destiny is a single player game about a bear cub who follows his mysterious fate, wandering through a cold but at the same time amazing world. Discover the touching fate of the bear cub and go all the way to the end. Uh, okay. Um, developed by Butengo Entertainment um, or Batengo or something. Currently costs twelve dollars thirty nine. Sure. Uh, the wild north stretches out in front of you, surrounded by snowy mountains and rocks. Play as a polar bear cub and find out the, his touching story. Discover new memories that will be given by the north spirit about the lost bear cub in this big and harsh world. Enjoy the atmosphere of cold nature with sincere music and go all the way to the end to find out the fate of the bear cub. Main features: the focus is on the plot, the secret of which you must uncover by completing the game to the end. It also has several puzzles in platformer gameplay. Yeah, the platforming gameplay is terrible. Just really bad. Um, this is an emotional and unique story that will not leave you indifferent. The game has a beautiful landscape and sincere music that will allow you to plunge into what is happening and enjoy the atmosphere. The game has such a wonderful soundtrack by famous artist as Message to Bears. Wait, what? So is the artist's name Message to Bears? I don't know. The soundtrack is pretty nice. I'll, I'll give them that. Um... But the, uh, the platforming and stuff is just atrocious. Uh, the controls are, are not good. Um, and the respawn is obviously broken. It just doesn't work. Um, you know, just... Uh, you guys saw it. It doesn't, it doesn't function properly. When I was falling off uh, the stuff at the very start, um, it was respawning me in the water and I couldn't move. And then when I fell off the edge of the map there, it was just respawning me into more falling off the edge of the map. Um, so this is... This is the gameplay trailer, and the trailer is basically doing the stuff that we already did. So I'm not sure what... So there's some extra stuff. There's like some plateaus or whatever. There's a spear. So he's like contemplating the spear. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't... I like... I mean, that's cute. The, the polar bear is cute. It was pretty funny watching him uh, fall off the cliff endlessly. You know, that was enjoyable. Um, yeah, the... The platforming is is bad. I would not recommend the platforming. It all feels very bad. 
Um, I like the uh, I like the hunters hunting us. That was cool. I like the art style. It is very pretty, and the sound design's good. Um, but there's just so many problems. You know, it just hasn't been. No one's been through to uh, fix it. You know, no one's been through to like beta test this. I feel. So this has been in the works for three years. Looks like they have two other games. One's called I Will Eat You, which is. Alright, uh, a f indie PvP family friendly funny co op. And Brain Off, which is a casual RPG action arcade RPG. So it's about shooting zombies. Yeah, um, like I said, I, uh, after my start, I was very disinclined to like the game. After I played it for a while, I was back to sort of on its team. And then, uh, you know, with no direction, really, you know, the, the spirit sort of was like, yeah, follow me, and that was cool. And then it was like, led me to one of those little orbs, but there was no explanation as to what the orbs are for or why I should be collecting them. So then why should I bother collecting them? You know, if it was like, you need to collect 10 orbs or whatever to progress, then I would have done that. Um, but it was just like there's an orb. So is it an optional collectible or is it like a, a, a mandatory one? Um, because there was one at the top of that little cliff that I was trying to get up and I did not want to go up that cliff. Um, this is very pretty. I like the uh, the Borealis stuff. That's cool. Um, I mean, there's stuff to like here, but it uh, I, I definitely can't give it a thumbs up at this point. It uh, is too non-functional um, for me to recommend it to anybody at the moment with some work with some polish i feel like it could be a really nice sweet game you know a nice little short uh unique story with a great soundtrack and all that kind of stuff but uh there really needs to be some more polishing on the actual gameplay um by the developer before i could before i could recommend it so i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching like and subscribe leave me a comment down below check out this game by clicking on the link in the description and uh i'll see you guys next time Class dismissed.